Hi guys, today is the day that you've all been waiting for. Okay, maybe that was a little bit over dramatic, but today we're gonna to be trying out Sydney Grace for the first time, and I have a bunch of singles in this little palette that I have from ColourPop. And I'm so excited to try all of these out with you guys. Now, I will say that I have a couple of these from beforehand. I didn't get all of these in the order that I just put in. But the reason why I haven't used them yet is because the shades I already have were very neutral mattes. And so I didn't want to use any of the shimmers that I already had with the neutral mattes, if that makes any sense. So the shadows that I already had beforehand, I want to say were these two. And I also had some of the shimmers, but I can't remember exactly which ones right now. But I want to say I had this one and this one and this one possibly maybe i'm not really sure and if you want to know the names of all of these shadows i will take a screenshot of this and then i will put the names on all the shadows and i will pop it up on a screen for you so you can see i'm also going to swatch all of these for you and then after i'm done with the swatches i will also overlay the text of the names of the shadows on top of the swatches so you can again take a screenshot if you want to save them or if there's any shadows that you want to see swatched out i will do that for you so Maybe we should just start off by swatching them. I am going to keep the swatches quite short though because mostly I want to focus on trying them on my eyes and I'm not gonna lie, I've already dug my fingers into these because I was so curious to see what they would feel like and how they would swatch and I'm so impressed by the matte. So let me just show you. So I'm going to start by swatching the top two rows first and those are going to be all the mattes. And then when I'm done with those, I will remove those and then I will swatch all of the shimmers separately so you can kind of get a feel of first the mattes and then the shimmers. So let's start with the mattes. Okay, so that was all the swatches. Now I will say, like I said before, I had dug my fingers into these before and the mattes are absolutely incredible, at least swatched. So I can't wait to put them on my eyes and see how I feel about them there because I have pretty high expectations right now. The shimmers on the other hand didn't really feel like anything special. I mean, they seem nice, but I can see that they're probably going to have to be built up quite a bit to be as intense as I like my shimmers to be. But then again, I am on the extreme side and I can't really have a shimmer that is too bright or too in your face. So we're gonna have to just see how it goes when I go to put them on my eyes. I'm definitely going to be spraying the shimmers I can already tell so because they are pretty like tightly pressed into the pants they're not very loose like a lot of other formulas are that tend to be very vibrant so I don't know let's just uh, jump into it because I'm very curious so I'm gonna start off by priming my eyes with my MAC paint pot in soft ochre as always okay so I really have no idea what I want to do today because I've been staring at this palette now for a while so I'm gonna do something that I've done before and I'm going to start with my lower lash line and just kind of see where the inspiration takes me. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to mix this dark blue with this matte white. And the reason why I wanted to get a matte white was because I don't have a matte white in my singles collection and I feel like it's something that's going to be very versatile and that I can mix other shades to make them look a lot lighter. So I'm going to mix these two and how I do this is I basically just tap into each of these shades and then I kind of pat them on the back of my hand until they become the color that I want it to be. And I didn't want to use one of these super dark shadows on my lower lash line because I kind of want to use one of the uh, Colourpop mascaras. So I think I want to try the blue one today and I kind of wanted to make a color that would sort of not match exactly but be a little bit more similar to the mascara. And I understand that I'm only doing my lower lash line now but so far the shadow is performing so nicely. And sometimes blue tend to have a problem to stick on to places that don't already have an eyeshadow primer, but this is going on beautifully. So I think what I'm actually struggling with now is that I don't want to do a blue and a green eye because I feel like I always do my first impression. So the problem is that I don't really have any other mattes other than this kind of reddish brown shade. So I mean, obviously I have these top ones, but I just feel like they're a little bit too light to be my crease shade. So let me just think about this for a little bit longer and see if I can come up with something that isn't just a blue and a green smoky eye. 
Okay, I think what I want to do is I want to do a halo eye. So I'm first gonna go in with this kind of mustardy shade in my crease and then deepen it up with this shadow. And I'm not sure what I want to put in the middle. I can maybe go with this one or the orange one, but we'll see when we get there. So let me first build up the crease and the outer and inner corner. So I'm just gonna use my Morphe E36 brush to just pack this into my crease now. And the shadow is very nicely pigmented and I like it. So far I gotta say I'm impressed and I'm so happy that you guys recommended Sydney Grace to me because I wasn't sure which indie brand to try next and you guys know I've had a little bit of hit and miss with the indie brands that I have tried, especially their mattes. Because uh, indie brands tend to be really really good at making shimmers, but their mattes are definitely lacking and for me, mattes are way more important than shimmers because I feel like I can get a good shimmer anywhere, but it's really hard to find very good unique mattes. And mattes is just something that I use every single day and I rarely do it all shimmer look, so having good mattes is so important to me. I really like how dirty, mustardy, and gungy this is. I love these kind of yellows. They're just, oh, they're so cool. So I'm next gonna dip into this shadow right here. Still using that same Morphe E36 brush, and that is beautiful. And I'm gonna put this in the inner part and the outer part of my lid. And I'm not going to be pulling this across because I find out with my hooded eyes, it's just something that I think looks better on me. But I would say just experiment with that yourself. I feel like a lot of people prefer to have the darkest shade on the outer and inner corner connect in the middle. But that's just personal preference. So you gotta kind of find out what you think works best for you. And the shadow is laying on top of my eyelid so beautifully. There's no patchiness at all, which is quite impressive. It's also blending into that mustard shade beautifully. So there's a little bit of kick up in the pants here. I'm not sure how well you're able to see that, but that's not really something that bothers me at all. And I don't find it flying everywhere, so it's not really a big deal. And usually if I do have a little bit of kick up, I will just sort of pick it up on my brush next time I'm dipping into the pan. And it's blown away nicely. It's not like sticking on top of the other shadows here. So let's see, what do I want to do next? I'm kind of thinking I just want to use the orange shade. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one right here and I'm going to pop that in the middle of my lips. Now I know I've used the shadow before in uh, my palette inspiration video and it was like my first time ever trying a Sydney Gray shadow, but I want to use this one again. So, and don't worry, I will be using these shadows more so it's not like it's the only shimmer you'll get to see from this collection. So let's see how this goes. Ooh, that's pretty. So I'm mostly keeping this very focused, just right in the middle of my eye. And I'm trying not to blend it outwards too much. And I'm also sort of pulling it into my crease since it is a bit of the same shadow. I don't really mind having a bit of shimmer up there, especially when I'm doing a halo eye. So I feel like a lot of you are yelling at me through the screen right now and being like, so I guess I'm going to use another one in my inner corner and I'm going to go in with this duochrome right here. Uh, this one didn't seem to have too much of a pigment when I swatched it, so I feel like it's definitely more of a topper shade. And you can see it right here, it's not very shimmery and it's kind of sheer, so let's try to put this in my inner corner. I am going to spray it. That's very pretty. So it's like a pink duochrome it looks like. I really like this. So looking at this, I'm sort of getting like fire and ice kind of vibes and I have an idea for what I want to do next, but I think I'm gonna go in with a bit more of that mustard shade and just bring that back a little. So I'm taking my Cosette S185 brush and I'm just gonna run this all the way across. And because like I said, I want to use my blue mascara on my bottom lashes, I'm gonna go in with this Urban K pencil in ultraviolet because I think that these are Pretty much the same shade, so I'm gonna do that. And next up, what I want to do is I want to do a red wing using my Red Room Liquid Lipstick by Jeffree Star. And now what I'm going to do is we are going to have some fun and we are going to use my Red Color Pop Mascara as well. 
And you guys know I don't usually wear colorful mascara on my upper lashes, but I just really want to try it with this look because I think it could be really fun. So I'm first going to curl my lashes. And I think I'm going to try to use my CoverGirl Lash Primer. I'm not sure how this is going to go. I don't usually wear lash primer, so I'm not that good at it. So let's just pop some of this on and see if maybe this can make the mascara pop a little bit extra. And I never know like how much of this to put on and how long to wait before going in with my mascara. So I think we should just do one eye at a time here. Maybe I'll just leave it like this and <laughs> white lashes. That looks crazy. Okay, so should I just go in with my mascara now or am I supposed to wait for this to dry? I don't think I'm supposed to wait for this to dry. I hope not. But let's try the mascara and see how this turns out. So I will say it's not my absolute favorite mascara formula. I can see a lot of people liking this, but for me, I definitely prefer a little bit more length in my lashes. I am gonna go in with another coat, but I'm just gonna do this eye before I go in with my second coat. All right, let's see if I'm able to build up this side a little bit extra. So it does build, but not as much as I would like to still. I'm gonna wait for this to dry a little bit and then I'm gonna go in with the blue on the lower lash line. Okay, so I think I like the blue one a little bit more than the red one, but again, it's probably just because I have it on my lower lashes instead of the upper lashes because my lower lashes seem to look good no matter what mascara I put on them. Like, they're not as picky as the upper lashes are. So this is going to be the finished eye look. Now I gotta figure out what lipstick to put on. I could definitely go with a red. So, no, I don't really feel like doing a red today. I kind of feel like just doing a nude and be boring. So let me see if I can find a nice dude lipstick that I want to wear with this look. So I think what I'm going to use is this Lippy Sticks by Colourpop. This is in the shade Parker and it's really just like a light brown. I think this looks pretty good with it. So I'm gonna, I guess, say that this is the final look. So let me sum up how I feel about the Cine Grace palette. Now I know it's taken a little while since we've actually put on some Cine Grace eyeshadows because of all the mascaras and stuff, but let's get back to the shadows now. And so I want to say that all the masks that I used today, I've been so impressed by, and that makes me so incredibly happy. And I will for sure order more of the mattes. Uh, if they ever have a sale, I'm probably going to pick up all the ones that I don't have that aren't neutral. So really happy with these. Uh, I will say that the shimmers are, the shimmers are nice, but a lot of these are definitely more topper shades and I wouldn't really say that any of these are super intense and foiled but they are more on the shimmery satiny side which I don't hate that but they're not my favorite shimmery formula if that makes any sense but that's not to say that they're not good it's just that they're not what I usually go for when I pick out shimmers so I'm definitely more impressed by the mattes and I'm honestly like so impressed by the mattes it's not even funny so thank you so much to you guys for recommending to try Sydney Grace because I probably wouldn't have if it wasn't for you guys so yeah, I'm really excited to keep playing with these and to make more looks with them. I probably won't do like a full review on Sydney Grace, at least not anytime soon, but these shadows will all be going into my roulette wheel and they will also be probably featured in my palettes inspired by series and I will for sure pull them out and like use them here and there, but it's not going to be like a three looks one palette or three looks Sydney Grace or anything like that, at least not anytime soon. So this is not going to be anything more than just a first impression and I just want to make that very clear because these are too many shadows for me to do a full review with right now so I hope you understand and if there are any shadows in this bundle that you want me specifically to use let me know and I will see if I can pull them into other videos but for now this is going to be it with Sydney Grace and I'm so happy I tried them even if the shimmer formula wasn't my favorite but they're still pretty good so yeah thank you again for watching if you are new to my channel I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you in my next video bye